The red vestment that the priest wears today and the red chalice veil tell you that today is the feast of a martyr, St. Charles Lawanga of Uganda and 22 of his other companions. And in the gospel, at the end of the Beatitudes, Jesus says, blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And that describes them today. In fact, that was a phrase in the opening prayer known as the collect, collect, that the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. So this was in the late 1800s that these men and followers of Christ were martyred in Uganda. There were very few Christians or Catholics there at that time, but today the church is booming. The church is booming in Africa. It's spreading. There are many vocations. And you can see it's come true that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of Christians. So what was the case with Charles Lawanga and the other companions? And some of them were um, Anglicans as well. Uh, a number of them were catechumens. Basically, they refused to honor and obey the king in things which went against their conscience. That's a polite way to put it. Right? And they just they said no, and the king was infuriated. And specifically, Charles Long was protecting young pages from the immoral desires of the king. And uh, what happened is these people were murdered. Now, on my phone, I have a number of apps for calendars. Some are brought to you by Microsoft Network. Some are brought to you by Google. Some are brought to you by Relevant Radio. They always have little reminders, like today's Flag Day, or this month is, you know what month it is. It doesn't say the month of the Sacred Heart, right? The Relevant Radio app tells you it's the month of the Sacred Heart. So this month of the Sacred Heart for June is something very special to us, but I've also realized it's, it's I think it's the month of the year we have the most martyrs. It's like almost every other day. We'll have Thomas More later this month, St. Boniface, St. Peter, and St. Paul, the Roman martyr, St. John the Baptist, and a bunch of them. And it's a witness to their faith that they loved our Lord Jesus Christ above all things. Also going on this month, we know around the country, there are four walking Eucharistic pilgrimages. And later in this month, the Eucharistic pilgrimage of the Marian route will come through the city of Chicago the last week of the month, and we want to be prepared for that. And we've seen in these days the outpouring of faith and devotion of people. Many parishes this weekend had Corpus Christi processions. In some of those parishes, they hadn't ever had a Corpus Christi procession, or it had been years since they had had it. In some parishes, a real big turnout. Others, not so much. But it becomes contagious. That good example and the faith of others become contagious. And here at Relevant Radio, we try to put the spotlight on all the good things happening in the church, to speak about it, because good news is contagious. Good example is contagious. Joy is contagious. A smile is contagious. I'm reminded of a story of a youngster. He was a newspaper salesman on the corner of Dearborn and Monroe in Chicago years ago in the 50s, where he'd get the newspaper twice a day. And a businessman walked by, and the boy sold him the newspaper for 10 cents. That's what you could buy it for. And he looked the man in the eye and said, have a great day, mister, and smiled at him. And the, you know, kind of tough businessman was thinking, well, look at that 10-year-old wishing me a great day. And he put a smile on his face. And he walked in the building, and he greeted the doorman with a smile on his face. He said, Charlie, have a great day. Charlie was surprised, because Mr. Jones never wished him a great day. And Mr. Jones never smiled. And then Mr. Jones got on the elevator and saw some other people and said, have a great day. And he smiled. He said, what is going on with Mr. Jones? He's smiling. And they were also delighted that they carried that smile throughout the day. That's the contagiousness of joy. That's the contagiousness of faith. So in these days, finally, we are in the octave of Corpus Christi. Many people are not familiar that there's an eight-day celebration of the Feast of Corpus Christi, which we celebrated yesterday. And it's up to each of us to figure out, what am I going to do a little bit extra special for Jesus every day? It might be to come to Mass. It may be to visit our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. It may be to spend an hour in adoration. But whatever you can do to show a special extra effort to spend time with Jesus, you will be richly rewarded for that.